Hey, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'ar, Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to sincere brethren out there pushing this word. We're the brothers in the uh, San Francisco camp. I'm the brother for now. Watha with me. Shamar. Got a one. Yari Allah. Yeah, we just wanted to do a, a lesson. You know, brothers, uh, you know, we, we driving around. We headed back to the house after camp, you know. So just want to do a, you know, open form, you know, whatever, wherever the spirit leads, you know. Uh, we're just going to bring those scriptures out. <coughs> so whatever brothers got, okay. you know, hey, shoot. Uh, this is um, uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Yeah, and that's what the men of the Lord was set up to do, okay? We're supposed to speak the words of prophecy, all right? We ain't set up as no damn militant group, okay? No no activists. We're, we're, we have a job. Our job is to speak the words of the Lord to the nation of Israel, man. Tell Jake what's to come, all right? That's right. And Jake, uh, it's up to them to do uh what they supposed to do with the word whether they hear or forbear like it says in uh ezekiel hmm. okay so it's up to them to get their stuff together but if they don't that's on them they're gonna die all right our job is to specifically teach the word man that's it all right keep going it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth saith the lord that's right and these aren't our words these are the words of the heavenly father all right we didn't come up with the book man all right, we didn't come up with these prophecies. This is straight from the mind of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Keep going. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee, um, that speak against thee. Yeah, and that's uh, that happens to a lot of guys that come in this thing, man. The incredulity troubles them. Mm. All right, which the word incredulity, when you look it up, it means the inability or unwillingness to believe mm. or understand the truth. All right, and Jake sees that. All right, Jake see how uh, these these damn demons react to uh, you being out there on the highways and hedges, and then Jake can say this ain't the truth, based upon how some nigga reacts to the truth, man. You know, because the majority of these people look at you all weird. All right, the scriptures say, go read it again. It says, fear not. This is um, uh, Second Ezra thirteen <coughs> and three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Uh -huh. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, so the inc incredulity of these people is not supposed to trouble you. You're not supposed to get bugged out over that, man. Okay, the Most High told you that these people wouldn't listen. All right? So what's the reason to get bugged out for it, man? Why would you think that the Most High is not with what you're doing because these people don't agree? These people got Satan on them, man. Yeah. All right? All these people are demons out here. Anybody that comes up against the words of the Heavenly Father, they have a problem with the words of the Heavenly Father, they got demons on them, man. All right, and you shouldn't let that trouble you, uh, and it's gonna explain why. Um, Keep going. It says, it, "Can I can I um bring out this preset real fast?" This this is going off, but um you know, it's not fearing these people, you know, and, and being pretty much letting the incredulity of them uh, trouble us. This is uh, Jeremiah one and seventeen. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak. Unto them all that I command thee. Yeah, you're supposed to speak everything, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to hold stuff back. Because you got camps out there that hold, hold hold back certain words of the Heavenly Father, man. Hold back certain laws, okay? <coughs> or say, oh, this ain't the breakdown. This the breakdown. And the only reason you breaking it down like that is to appease these niggas out here, man. That's right. You want, you want Jake to feel good when they hear the word, man. The word ain't supposed to make you feel good. What did it say in Ezekiel? Written within was lamentation, mourning, and woe, man. All right? That's right. That's mainly what this book is talking about. All right. Keep going. It says, be not dismayed at their faces. What's that word dismay? When you look it up, it means to lose enthusiasm. Right. All right. So you're not supposed to lose enthusiasm at these niggas' faces, man. Jake make all type of weird faces at you, man. <laughs> look at you all weird, you know. Look at you crazy. That's right. You know, call you the devil, mm -hmm. you know. But we doing the work and the will of your how about how shine, man. While these niggas is doing the will of the devil. Their father's the devil, man. That's right. Keep going. It says, be not dismayed at their faces, mm -hmm. lest I confound thee before them. Yeah, and that's what happens to guys, man. Mm -hmm. If you get dismayed, you lose enthusiasm because the way Jake looking at you, the most high ends up confounding you, man. You start bringing out uh, bullshit, okay? And then these uh, demons that's out there, they'll cut you up, man. What they uh, weirdo uh, in the world philosophies, man. That's right. <clears throat> Keep going. 
It says, uh, for behold, I have made thee this day a defense city mm -hmm. and an iron, a iron pillar yep. and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. Hey, real quick, get uh, Acts 5 and 38. Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Uh -huh. For if this counsel for or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Yeah, but if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Okay, keep going. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. Why can't you overthrow it? Because the Most High made us a defense city. Yeah, sorry, All sorry. right? Yeah. With brazen walls. Okay, you can't break through it, man. All right, no, no amount of, uh, of of weaponry that you have is gonna be able to break down this wall. All right, which is the reason why everybody that comes up against the truth they lose. Mm. All right, keep going. Least happily you be found even to fight against the Most High. Yeah, which that word happily means uh, by chance or unknowingly. Mm. You know, but that just backs up what the brother read and uh, what he's reading in Jeremiah. That's that's the reason why you can't overthrow it. Okay, uh, go back to uh, Jeremiah, Bob Michelle. Go ahead. This is uh, back in Jeremiah uh, 1 and 18. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. Yeah, we're a defense city. Okay, the Most High spiritually made us a defense city, man. Keep going. And an iron pillar. Yep. And brazen walls against the whole land. Against the whole land. All right, so we're brazen walls. All right, keep going. Against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, uh -huh. against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land, mm -hmm. and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. Yeah, you beating a, a, a brass wall, man. <laughs> All right, here you got sticks and stones, you got your own <laughs> fists. You trying to beat down a, a brass wall, man. You gonna break your knuckles. Yep. All right, your wrist gonna break, your arms gonna break. You, then you gonna lose, you gonna give up. <laughs> and that's what happens to you people in the spirit, man. All right, you, you use all your might to try to break this thing down. You end up being broken, man. All right. Why? Because you cannot overthrow this thing, man. This is this is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. All right, and his will gets done regardless of how you feel, man. All right, keep going. For I am with thee, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to right. deliver thee. That's right. Okay. Hey, I can um I can hop back into uh, uh Second Ezra unless the brother have any precept. Yeah, I. Um, this, this is Ezekiel. Two. And I'm gonna start. Uh, I'll just start at one. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, mm -hmm. that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, yep. to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. Yeah, Jake's so, rebellious, man. Yeah. Right unto this day, it's gonna say that yeah. they and their fathers have transgressed against me, mm -hmm. even unto this the very day. Yeah, even unto this very day. That's the reason why you got rebellious ass niggas, man. <laughs> All right, niggas that walk by the cab, they shout out, you know, hey man, most high bless, you know, hey GMS, you know, <laughs> GMS, I see y'all, see y'all, GMS. GMS. GMS, you know, I watch all y'all video, but yeah, you ain't doing the will of the heavenly yeah, father, though, yeah. man. The most I don't want no lip service. Mm. All right, he don't want you. He, he the most I don't need your fucking shout out, man. <laughs> like, who the who the hell are you? You know, the most I need you to shout him out. You know, I want to shout out the heavenly Father. You know, I ain't doing what he told me to do, but I'm gonna shout you out. You know, but you shout you shouting him out to us, man. Get yeah. out of here, man. You don't shout you don't shout the heavenly Father, and you have no platform. Okay, you're a bug out. Go ahead, out. It's a lot. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. Yep. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power. And that's what we doing, man. We tell Jake what the Heavenly Father is saying. Yep. All right. Yeah, none and of Jake. this, none of this is out of our own heart. None of this is we got together, we just planned this out, you know. We were programmed. We got abducted. We got programmed. No, man. This is all through the Spirit, Heavenly Father, man. This is actually out the book. Of, it's out the scriptures. And then what do we do? We, we link it up with the precepts to prove 
then it makes perfect sense. But what it is that you people hate, you hate the word of the Lord. You hate the Heavenly Father, man. Keep going on. And they, whether, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, mm -hmm. yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. That's right. And they're going to consider these things when all these things come to pass, man. When all hell breaks loose, okay, then Jake is going to know why these things are happening, man. They're going to recount the words of the prophets. All right. Oh, this happened because I'm being wicked. You know, I should have been calling on the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. You know? What's more on that? There's one more verse. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them. Mm -hmm. Neither be afraid of their words. Yeah, Jake talk all kind of shit, man. Hell yeah. You know, I'm going to kill you. You know? Dudes leaving comments. Oh, I got guns. You know, I'm just waiting for y'all to say something when I walk by the camp. And then you walk by the camp, you get cursed out. You don't do nothing, man. You know? Though briars and thorns be with thee, mm -hmm. and thou doest dwell among scorpions. Yeah, and you niggas are scorpions, man. Yeah. All right? You look at what a scorpion does. A scorpion, it has pinchers, and then it has a, a, a tail that injects venom into you, man. So it'll stinger. Done. The water slack it. Yeah, it has a stinger. Mm -hmm. And it stings you. And what does the scripture say? It says, sin is the sting of death, man. Sheesh. So you scorpions, you sting people of wickedness. And what, uh, scorpions, they also live underground in the mm -hmm. dust, in the dirt. They're nocturnal. They're nocturnal. Yeah, they're nocturnal. They come out at night. And you know what? If people that live in the desert, they know about scorpions. People live in Texas. Sometimes they have to move out their house because scorpions be sneaking in their house, man. Stinging them in their sleep. <laughs> and that's a lot. That's what you niggas do. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that venom, uh, it's your, your doctrine, man. Yep. That's what these niggas come at you with. Yeah. They try to convert you under Satan, man. Yeah. And niggas are actually embracing that scorpion shit right now. The Scorpio yeah. shit. Yeah. Scorpions. Yeah, yeah, nigga Drake, he came up an album called Scorpio or some shit. Yeah, yeah it's coming out. It's called uh, Scorpion Season or some dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, you niggas are scorpions. Yeah. yeah. Be not afraid of their words. Mm -hmm. Nor be dismayed at their looks. Yeah, so that's a that's a commandment, all right? We're not supposed to be afraid of Jake, all right? And we're not supposed to be dismayed at how they look at us, all right? You're supposed to understand already that Jake doesn't want to hear the word, man. Jake's not going to conform to the word, all right? Jake really don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, all right? Nevertheless, we have to tell them what the what the words of the, of the Heavenly Father uh, are, what, the, what his words are, all right? Certain dudes get messed up over that. Oh man, it's supposed to be millions of Israelites coming in. You know, Jake's supposed to be surrounding us, listening. You know, maybe if we change the doctrine up, then, then <coughs> niggas are gonna listen. What you right about that, man? If you change the doctrine, yeah, all type of niggas is gonna listen to you. But the most I don't want all these niggas listening, man. Yeah. All right, he just said they ain't gonna listen to. They ain't gonna listen to you. All right, so if you change the doctrine up, you got all type of Jake's listening to you. You ain't right, man. Your doctrine is not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Your doctrines are the devil, man. That's why niggas flock to them. All right? <clears throat> be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, mm -hmm. though they be a rebellious house. Yep. Yeah. And that was it on that. All right, Con. Uh, you got something? Yeah, I can, I can hop back into 2 Ezra. Okay, Con. Okay. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15, verse 3, one more time. Fear not the imaginations against thee, mm -hmm. let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee yep. for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness and that's the judgment uh -huh. all right everybody that has a problem with the word everybody that doesn't believe in the words they're gonna be put to death man that's right so why would you get this made why would you lose enthusiasm because jake's not listening yeah. judgment's already written man anybody that has a problem with the word get proverbs uh, 13 13 mm. anybody that has a problem with the word is gonna be destroyed man that's the right. most gonna put him to death all right all we gotta do is keep doing what the heavenly father commanded us to do Right? Be obedient servants, man. And what did he tell us to do? Teach the words, speak the words to the nation of Israel, man. Don't change it up. Okay, everything that he told you to say, you tell him. Alright? Don't 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 uh change the words of the Heavenly Father that conform to these niggas' feelings, man. Alright. Yeah, because you know, <clears throat> you're not supposed to fear the imaginations that are getting the incredulity, all these demons, alright, people that speak up against thee. 
Because the whole the whole point of that is to make you lose faith. Mm-hmm. And it says all the unfaithful, they're going to die in exactly that. Their unfaithfulness. So here it is. There's Satan. He's trying to make you do what? To, to lose your faith. Yep. And everyone that loses faith, you're going to die, man. All right? A horrible death. That's right. Okay? Uh, you both, do you need to get Proverbs real quick? Got it. Got it. It's Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Uh, yeah, point blank period, man. All right? You ain't even going to break that down. <laughs> yeah. All right? Keep going. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Yeah, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. All right? And that's talking about all the commandments, including the commandments that we just read. About speaking all the words of the Heavenly Father to the house of Israel, man. Not sugarcoating stuff. All right? Whenever the Most High commanded you to go speak, you have to speak those things, man. Which the words that he commanded us, commanded us to speak are in the scriptures. Yep. All right? You ain't supposed to add or take away. Okay? Or the Most High is going to destroy you. All right? You got a lot of camps out there to add and take away from the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. To appease these demons out here. All right? To get gain followers. Okay, to be uh, uh, exalted amongst your uh, congregation, you want to bring out the next new thing, you know? The Most High ain't dealing with that spirit, man. All right? The Most High wants you to be obedient and do what he told you to do, man. Speak his words. That's it. All right? Can you read it again? <clears throat> I'll read it. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Yeah, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Keep going. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. That's right. He that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. All right. So those faithful servants, those obedient servants, they are going to be rewarded, man, for fearing the commandment of the Heavenly Father. All right. And fearing the judgment that will come if you break those uh, commandments, man. Yeah. All right. You can uh, jump back into Ezra's. Okay. I had a quick uh, precept. Come on, come on. It's um. It's Isaiah, uh, I'm going to start, uh, this is Isaiah 30, I'm going to start at verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book, mm -hmm. that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, uh -huh. lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Yeah, and Jake don't want to hear the law of the Lord, like he was going into earlier at the camp, man. Uh -huh. Jake vehemently refuses <laughs> to hear the laws of the Heavenly Father, man. According to Jake, the laws of the Heavenly Father are wicked. All right? And we, we had, if we sit a damn heathen down and go through the laws with him, he going to be with it, man. Well, you actually had heathen that came up. Uh, anything that's in the book, I'll do it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you sit down with Jake. You tell Jake you can't, you ain't supposed to work seven days a week. Oh, no, nah, fuck that. That's wicked, man. You're supposed to let the land rest on the seventh year. No, nah, fuck that. I'm going I'm, to I'm farm the land in seven years straight. And what about Odious and Juan when we brought out a, a, a Luke 14 chapter on them? Mm -hmm. you, uh, you really think I'm supposed to hate my family? You know, they don't, they're not going to... Jake ain't, ain't with the word, man. They're not with the word all the way, 100%. Like the brother said, they want to add on. They want to subtract from it. Mm -hmm. They don't want to deal with the whole role. Jake want to do his own will. Jake want to do what makes him feel good, man. Not what pleases Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which that's the reason we were set down here on the earth, man. Yeah. To do the things that please you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? All right? And then doing those things, there's certain uh, benefits that you get with it. All right? <clears throat> you ain't wicked to deal with a woman. All right? And then the most side, he'll let you deal with her if you if you right, though. You know? All you got to do is do what you're supposed to do. You can deal with as many women as you want, man. You know? Although, I, I ain't saying to do that in this society, you know? But you got to, uh, you got to balance your time out, man. You know, all that'll come in the kingdom. You know, but the most high he'll give you that. You know, but you gotta be obedient to him. <clears throat> Jake wanna do their own will before the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Which that's not how a servant's supposed to act. A servant, if you a true servant, the will of your master comes before your will, man. Okay. Alright, you watch these different movies, okay, if you know brothers that watch uh, you know, different anime. They got uh They'll show you how a true servant's supposed to act, man. It's always my lord, you know. They treat them, uh, their, their masters with reverence. And they always ask uh, their masters what they want to do, man. You know? And that's how we supposed to be with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But you got a bunch of rebellious niggas that ain't doing that, man. And they mind my will first. And then, okay, if I got time for the Heavenly Father, I'll do that. You know? Or if I, if I like the commandment of the Heavenly Father, I'll do it if I have time. 
you know? Mm-hmm. And the most side gonna destroy niggas like that, man. That's, right. that's the majority of our people. All right? He said, um, we're say to the seers, see not, mm-hmm. and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seat. Yeah, prophesy the seat, speak unto us smooth things, man. Tell us we don't have to keep the law, all right? Tell us that the most high will have favor upon us for disobeying his words, man. Don't tell us that the most high, uh, if we're disobedient to him, he's going to kill us. We don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, man. You know? Tell me something that's going to make me feel good. <laughs> tell me the most high is at peace with me. And I can do whatever I want, you know? Say, uh, get ye out the way. Turn aside out, the, out of the path. Mm-hmm. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's Jake, man. Yeah. All right? Jake don't want the presence of Yahweh by Shemi Shai anywhere near him, man. All right? What's the reason why you got niggas that don't want to hear the word, man? You got niggas that flag the videos. Yeah, they want, they want other spirits around them, man. They yeah. want satanic, wicked, demonic spirits. Niggas want to be around strippers. Yeah. Niggas want to be around drug dealers. Niggas want to be by be around transsexuals, homosexuals. Niggas want to be around Esau. They want to be yeah, around yeah. Edomites. Yeah, rats. M- M- uh, Bug out. You niggas are wicked, man. Yeah, you niggas are done. <laughs> it says, uh, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye, ye despise this word and trust in oppression and mm-hmm. perverseness and yeah, stay yeah. thereon. That's Jake, man. <laughs> Read that again. Good, good. Show. It says, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, <laughs> Because ye despise this word. Because ye despise the word. Keep going. And trust in oppression. And trust in oppression. Who's oppressing you, man? The so-called white man. Yep. Mainly. Mm-hmm. And these other nations. But Jake trusts in that, man. Yep. All right? I just wanted to stay like this. You know? <laughs> I don't want to be over the white man. I can't be over the white man. You know? Uh, it's a driver, sir. Come on. Uh, yeah. It says, uh, Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness. Yep, trust in <laughs> oppression and perverseness. And you being perverse is completely going astray from the words of Yahweh Shemi Shai, man. Completely going astray from the commandments. All right. That's right. And stay there on. And Jake wants to stay in this state, <laughs> oh, man. man. Jake wants to uh, uh, stay being perverse, man. Jake don't want to change his way. You present the right way to Jake. Okay, the straight way, oh, no, I don't want to do that, man. Like, you got niggas that say, oh, man, I can't be an Israelite because I, I can't give up pork. Yeah. That's Jake trusting in oppression and perverseness, man. And wanting to stay there on, all right? Keep going. Uh, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, uh, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an mm-hmm. instant. Mm-hmm. And that's how the judgment's going to come yeah. upon you niggas, man, instantly. All right, suddenly and instantly. You ain't gonna know where it came from, man. Then you're gonna be crying into the Heavenly Father. You're gonna try to figure out the name. You're gonna try to submit to the Heavenly Father, try to find out what his will is. You're gonna wanna try to put down pork. It's gonna be too late, man. All right? I got a uh, precept to close it out unless brothers have something straight to the point. Okay. It's, uh, sir, uh, oh, uh, 2 Ezra 9, verse 9. Mm. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways. Yep, you're gonna be in a pitiful case, man. All right, all kind of hell is gonna come upon you. You think you're living good now? All right, you got yep. you can go to McDonald's. You know, you can go to Safeway, buy food. You know, you could buy some food to cook up. That ain't gonna be going down in that time, man. Your whole world is getting ready to be turned upside down, man. Keep going. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Yeah, they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. So all you people that put the word off, just like we read in uh, Proverbs 13 and 13, mm. whoso despises the word Straight shall up. be destroyed. That's what's going to happen to you, man. Mm-hmm. And it ain't going it ain't, it ain't to be a smooth destruction, man. Yes, it ain't just like your body is going to, uh, uh, going to drop to the ground and your spirit is going to be gone. No, the most high is going to break you down, man. Mm-hmm. Are right, you going to go through all kind of calamities, man. You're going to starve. You're going to have diseases. Some of them diseases you get, you're going to recover and then you're going to get another disease. You can have multiple diseases at the same time. All right? The most high, he's going to literally break you niggas down, man. That's right. All right? Torments, that's that's not a that's not something light. <laughs> All right? Good. That word is there for a reason, man. Say you shall dwell in torments. Man, you're going you're gonna to live in, in torments, man. Your whole life is going to be a torment during that time. All right? Everything is going to be wrong for you, man. Everything is going to be going bad. All right? And it's going to be heavy judgment. All right? Keep going. All right. <coughs> it says, um, 
Oh, can I can I can I bring out? Cause I, you just said that I looked up the Edamon on Torment mm. real fast. Yeah, you gotta bring it up. <laughs> it's a noun. It says. <laughs> Gotta bring it up. <laughs> it says 1300 century, the inflicting of torture. <laughs> you should, you gonna dwell in this though. Okay. All right, so you gonna dwell in 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 a, in a torturous state. You gonna be in a torturous state until you die. And that's what's coming. That's what's coming upon you, man. All right, multiple diseases. That's that's torture, man. One one disease is torture. You got Ebola. That's torture in itself, man. But you gonna have you gonna have Ebola. You gonna have the super E. coli virus. Okay. You gonna have these super uh, STDs all at the same time, man. Getting tormented, all right. Every time you pee, you, 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 it burns. Okay, your eyes is bleeding. You throwing up blood. Okay, when you go to the bathroom and do number two, you your blood's coming out. That's how people live today in America. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't. The famine ain't even here yet. The hell, bro. These people are so unhealthy. They're sh they got leaky gut. Yeah. All right, they're they're bleeding out their ass, man. These people are dying. Their lungs are black. They can't breathe. They're 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 continual sickness, man. All right, uh, uh, their their tongues are green. It's like they're losing their hands. Their toes are falling off. Yeah. Fingers gone. Fingers are gone. People need hip replacements. Oh, I, I got a disc. Their discs are fucked up. Yeah. These people are in a pitiful case. <laughs> good, good. All right, you pe and then you're getting tormented, man. The most size destroying your body. Mm -hmm. like our back, our backs hurt, you know. Yeah. But then I see these other people. They need help. Oh yeah, I'm going under the knife again. Motherfuckers on his eighth surgery, and it's never ending now. That's a torment. You're allowing e you trusting Esau so much. You're letting Esau just operate on you, man. Like a fucking guinea pig. You people yeah. are through. Yep. <laughs> it's good. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. It's beautiful. Fuck you, people, right. man. You just read it. Whoso despises despises the word shall be destroyed. And then I give them niggas opioids. Yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to, to live, to, to survive the pain. I need another surgery. I'm going back in. They're fixing my disc. Another hip replacement. Another one. Yeah, my another knee. Another knee. Rep You're through, man. Through. Done. Ain't gonna be no opioids in that day either, yeah, man. So you, all the pain that you're gonna be going through, you got to deal with it, man. And the knife you're gonna go under is just gonna be pure hell, man. It's not gonna be no uh, Edomite with a fucking glove on, man. All right, with some gloves and a mask. It's gonna be a bloodthirsty nigga chopping you up, man. <laughs> all right? That's right. Doing, doing surgery on you, man. Yeah, yep. It's getting to getting jitsu ass. session. <laughs> it says, uh... The inflicting of torture, also state of great suffering, mm. pain, state, distress. State of great suffering. Read that again, Bob. God. Sure. It says also state of great suffering. State of great suffering. Mm. All right. So you're going to dwell in the state of great suffering. You're going to live in that state. Yeah. Man. That's going to be your day to day and your night to night. You wake, you're going to wake up to, to great suffering. You're going to go to sleep to great suffering, man. You're going to wake up because you're suffering greatly. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's that suffering is gonna break your sleep. All right, you ain't gonna get no. You ain't gonna sleep good when it all hell breaks loose, man. That's right. You gonna you gonna choke on your on the blood from the disease uh, that you got. That's gonna wake you up. All right, them stomach uh 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 them hunger pains gonna mm -hmm. wake your ass up. You ain't even gonna be able to sleep. All right, it's just gonna be pure hell when you up. You gonna be catching hell when you when you sleep. You gonna be catching hell. You gonna be through. All right. Uh, um, state of great suffering, pain, and distress. Pain and distress. All right. So you gonna you gonna you gonna be your whole body's gonna be in pain, stomach pains, pains in your eyes, your eyes bleeding. You know, sharp pains all throughout your body. They got diseases that just have uh, certain muscles go off for no reason, man. Mm. All right. And all that stuff is coming upon you, people. All right. Why? Because you refuse to hearken to the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. All right. Yeah, that was, that was pretty much like some of the uh, definitions. I can okay. go back to the script. Okay, this uh, back in Second Ezra chapter nine, um, verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which uh, now have abused my ways, mm -hmm. and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Don't dwell in torments. We just went into sure. what that those torments are, man. Yeah. Right, what the word torment means? Great suffering, a state <laughs> of great suffering. That's gonna be you people out here, man. <laughs> All right. right. You literally going to be living in hell, man, on the earth. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. No food, no water, diseases, disease ridden. Okay. People going to be looking for you to eat your ass. All right. Keep going. 
For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, uh -huh. and they that have loathed my law while they have yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Can you read it again? Gun. It says, and they that have loathed my law. And they that have loathed my law. That word loathe, when you look it up, it means to despise or look down upon, man. Mm. And that's Jake. Jake yeah. looks down upon the laws, statutes, and commandments. So y'all about shim y'all shy, man. This, this ain't right. This law ain't right. This ain't how you're supposed to do things, you know? Or scriptures tell you you're supposed to kill a homosexual. You niggas got a problem with that, man. Uh, nah, you're supposed to let him live. Let him live. He ain't hurting nobody. He's he is hurting somebody, man. He's hurting he's hurting himself. Yep. Okay. Yep. And he's hurting the other people around him, man. Yep. He's he's got a wicked spirit upon him that he's pushing out to other people, man. Mm -hmm. All right. He's trying to get on these uh these little kids out here to fucking turn them out, man. All right. That dude's supposed to have been put to death, man. That's right. You got niggas that let him live. They they bring the nigga into his house, into their house. All right. Let him live there because he got kicked out the house because his parents kicked him out. You know. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Yeah, and there's a place of repentance open unto you, man. That's the reason why we go out there on the highways and hedges. Mm -hmm. We preaching repentance, man. Mm -hmm. All right? What did uh, Yahweh I say? Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's what we telling you people out there, basically. All right? But Jake wants to continue down the same path. Nah, fuck that. I ain't gonna go and repent. I don't wanna get my stuff together. I don't wanna live after the ways of the Heavenly Father and His Son. I wanna do my own thing. I wanna do what, this, what the world is telling me to do, man. All right? So you're gonna dwell in torments. That's right. All right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Understood not, but despised it. Yeah, and they, Jake despises the fact that they can repent. Yeah. And the Most High has the door of mercy open up to him, man. All right? And the reason why is because you niggas don't want the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai around you, man. You don't want the presence of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai around you. You want the presence of the devil around you, man. That's right. All right? That's the reason why you despise repentance. Why would Jake go back to something he don't like, you know? To you niggas, the most size like that, 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 that wicked uh, boyfriend of yours, man. He beat your ass, you know, and you, you, then now you left. Now you're on the bigger and better things, yep. you know? It's a dog returning to his own vomit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spirit. Says the same must know it after the after death by pain. Yeah, so since you rejected the word, you don't want to get right. The most is gonna put you to death in a horrible manner. Yeah. All right. We just read that you're gonna <laughs> dwell in torments. All right. Yeah. Steady great. You're gonna suffering. be in a pitiful case. All right, you go, you're gonna you're gonna suffer greatly, man. See the, the most high ain't playing, man. Mm -hmm. All right. These you these people out here, they actually think that the most high just gonna when we say the most high gonna kill you, like okay, he just gonna he gonna take your spirit away from you, man. Are you, you going to get shot or something? You don't know. No, the Most High is going to break you niggas down, man. He's already breaking you niggas down, man. Yeah. All right? But when uh, that time of judgment comes, it's just going to be all gas, no brakes. You ain't going to be able to be healed, man. All right? It's just going to be calamity after calamity coming upon you, man. That's right. All right? And that's what you're going to go through because you reject the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? Then you're going to try to call upon a name to try to gain uh, uh, salvation. Are to gain favor with the Heavenly Father, he's going to ignore you, man. Just like you ignored him all them times you didn't walk by the camps, man. All right? All them times you didn't click on a video and laughed, all right? And didn't take heed to the words, man. Didn't, didn't change your uh, your lifestyle, man. All right? So just like you ignored the Heavenly Father, he's going to ignore you when judgment is coming down, man. And when all hell's breaking loose out here, man. When your fucking stomach is rotting out, all right? You eating human flesh. The most high, he's going to ignore you, man. All right? That's right. Any, any other precepts? Yes, sir. Hey, bro. Uh, hey. Hey, Khan. Hey. You know, so with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rahab, Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, sincere brethren out there. Push this word, man. Death to you fucking niggas, man. Death to Most niggas. is going to kill all you niggas, man. That's all right. you niggas that watch the videos for entertainment. Yeah. Okay? The Most High is going to kill you in a, in a horrible manner, man. All right? You ain't going to get shot one time and then torture die. you niggas. Yeah, you're going to get tortured. All right? And he's going to torture you through these different means that's that's out here, man. These different diseases. Drag your niggas in the mud. Yep, yep. <laughs> Spiritually, man. That's but it's going right. to translate in the, into the physical by all the things that happen to you, man. You're going to get uh, mauled by animals. You're going to survive. You're going to contract diseases. You're going to survive. 
You're going to starve. You're going to survive. And then more, more, more hell is going to be coming upon you, man. It's going to be hell after hell after hell after hell. <laughs> you see your loved ones put to death. Yep. And you're going to want to kill yourself, but yeah. the, the spirit is going to be on you to live, man, to deal with the hell. All right. Yeah. It says uh, Revelation, they shall seek death and not find That's it. That's right. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. You see, you're going to be through, man. All right? That's and right. That, that, that's comforting to us. Good, good. All right? Good. To know that yes. the Most High is going to put you to death for being disobedient. That's co That comforts us, yes. man. All right? So we don't get bugged out when you niggas look at us weird. You niggas make your little jokes. You're going to die. Yeah. All right? Yep. Yeah, so, you know, we, with that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.